Hello everyone, David Giulio here with Ozone Engineering and in this video I will show you how to use Vance's MotorCAD to apply cooling systems to cool your motor so that it does not overheat and that you can apply thermal management and heat regulation. So heat generated is equal to the heat being transferred, all right? And there's different modes of heat transfer, conductive, convective, and radiative. And MotorCAD allows you to apply various cooling systems. So let's take a look. So here we have these cooling systems to choose from. And in this example, we're choosing housing water jacket and spray cooling. And we look at the geometry. This is a radial view. This blue object shown here is the jacket. We can look at the axial view. We can see that there are water channels where fluid is being flowed through and carrying heat. And also there's spray cooling applied. So um, fluid is being applied to the end windings of the winding. And so this is cooling the motor, right? So then we can now apply calculations. We could run a steady state calculation. For example, we solve this model in a few seconds and a thermal circuit will automatically be generated for us. And MotorCAD uses a lumped parameter network thermal network right where basically the model is breaking down into lump parameters for the objects and temperature nodes are applied and shown here and the various elements include thermal resistances thermal capacitances heat sources etc right this represents the the motor this thermal circuit now we can also run a transient calculation and this will generate for us the temperature rise of each motor object over time right temperature rise over time for each motor object so we can see how the temperature is rising for the motor objects and when we click this transient calculation type we have a duty cycle tab appear we can we can click this and we can choose a duty cycle um, in the lab model, right? So we go to lab, we can choose what duty cycles we want to apply. So here it is. So what we choose here will appear in the thermal model. And here we can select operating point. We could choose in this example, we're using maximum temperature. So we are choosing maximum temperature and based on this temperature and speed, we want to know what is the required stator current and phase advance as well as torque, right? To, to obtain this maximum temperature. So once we once we run this calculation and we have operating point um, passed to e magnetic model, right? This radio button, we click this, this will pass this result will pass to the E magnetic model, right? So the E magnetic model will have this operating point. So going back to thermal, right? The, there's various settings to go through. I'm not covering covering everything in this video. For more details, I recommend that you look at the blog associated with this video. Right? I just wanted to show a quick overview of the thermal model, and you can you can apply different settings and look at different results right so look, look at the look at the blog and you can apply what is shown there all right so that is all for this video contact us to learn our, about our simulation capability and request a demonstration for us to show you how we can help you with your engineering projects ozone engineering inc is an ANSYS Elite channel partner and we provide training to use ANSYS tools, offer consulting services and sell ANSYS software packages. Thank you very much and take care.